welcome exploratory data analysis in minutes not in months not in weeks not in days not in hours but in minutes so we are going to see how we can do exploratory data analysis which is very important for understanding data for yourself and with the help of this exploratory data analysis you can make hypothesis which then you can test it using testing of hypothesis which we call confirmatory data analysis at the moment let's move and see how can we do this exploratory data analysis in minutes or even maybe less than minute okay i have library tidyverse which is umbrella package which is base library consisting of nine important packages i am using california data set so i am using this package is a uh, uh, EC that and data is California school. I have renamed it as small California school. So first of all, I am going to inspect this data that how many rows, how many columns. So we have 420 rows, 17 columns. What is the nature of these columns? What these columns look like? So I am going to have glimpse of that data and we have uh, integer column, factor column, double column. So in that way, we, you, you, can, uh, uh, you can decide which analysis you have to do. If it's a factor, it will be different. At the moment, I'm going to select numerical variables. So if you want to see first 10 rows, you can just write down and know you have first 10 rows and variables. Okay. Uh, what are the column names? If you write down column names, you have the column names of this data. At the moment, I am going to select only six columns and I am going to write, rename it as California underscore SM or California small. So very simple, California school data and then we have pipe operator radio button. Then I have selected the six variables and I have named it as California SM. No. If I want to see the mean of all these variables, I can have this one mean. If I write down here the SD, so I have standard deviation. If I write down, if I wrote down here minimum value, I'll have minimum value. If I write down maximum value, and you can have this summary statistics in one go as well. But this is not I'm going to discuss. I'm going to discuss something more important than this and you may need library grammar of tables gt gt summary library extra and now what see what happens we have six variables all are numerical so i am going to have summary of the, those variables in this format and you see okay okay fine we have now this summary of variables look here i have this summary of variables and in this summary of variables you can see that you have plot overview it's symmetrical mean median are very close to each other so it's metrical state is a student teacher ratio it's missing value mean value standard deviation and it's slightly secured mean is greater than median this is secured and you have all these five number summary statistics wait 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 we i'm going to discuss another way of summarizing data and see what happens so another way of summarizing data is using library scheme R and I'm going to scheme that data, the same data which we have done earlier and see what happens. Okay, you have a nice summary statistics and if I uh, reduce its font size, okay, and basically when you will display it, it will indicate all these things mean standard deviation p not p25 means 25th percentile or first quartile p50 median p75 and all that okay wait i am going to show you another very interesting way of summarizing data and that is using library data x-ray we are going to have x-ray of our data and then we are going to see our x-ray okay you have the same data california school data and this is awesome uh, look at this. This is very interesting one. And you have even better summary uh, than the previous ones, but it depends the your objective, which type of analysis you need, and you can decide what type of summary. So here you see, if I click here, so I have mean, 
Q5, Q10, median, Q75, Q90, lowest value, highest value, and at the moment, uh, okay, probably it's due to its uh, why its distribution is also shown. I don't know why its distribution here is not displayed. Similarly, you can have the student teacher ratio and its distribution is also shown here you have all the summary stats as well so in this way you, if you click you have all the summary statistics their distribution and everything and you can you, uh, it, it's better displayed if you display it in new window but at the moment if i click here on new window basically that will not be uh, shown uh, on my screen and so what i have discussed here three ways Either you can have schema or you, or you can have data x-ray or you can have uh, GT plot summary. So this is a nice way to summarize your data in minutes, not in hours, not in days, not in weeks, not in months. Take care and I'll, I'll come up with the next video on how to deal with missing data and how to deal with dirty data Excel. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching.